Hello everybody, welcome to Chill Out TV. I am J Lab and this is Football Manager 2017, the Unemployment Challenge. Now as you can see, I have sold all my best players. Joel Pizarro to Arsenal for £25 million in a bid in a fee that could go up to £35 million. And I'm happy that I'm going to get all that money for him because he is a good talent. And I feel pride knowing that I bought this guy for £1.3 million and made him into a, a talent that Arsenal wanted. And we're willing to pay £25 million for. And the fact he's now worth £37.5 million in England is saying a lot. But that's not the only reason we're doing this today. I want to talk about the games we had in February. And we had quite a few games in February, so this might take a while to get through them. I'm actually going to do something I haven't done in a couple of months. Hell, may not even be a couple of years. I'm actually going to show you the goals. Because I think you want to see them, don't you? Right? Right? Yes? No? In this game, we found ourselves having a good get, uh, good performance against Nessa de Maria. And Chris got us up to a very good start with his headed goal in the very beginning of the match. In the 22nd minute for his 30th goal of the season. And again, we won 3-0 in the end. And I'm going to keep the scoreline showing because I don't particularly care. I think we might as well show them at this point in another time. And that didn't look good. That fact it slagged down a little bit. But yeah, we are looking good and we're looking to try and ensure that we can make sure we can do this. Planners plays this in the middle and Chris gets a goal for his second of the game. Chris admits in. He's now got 31 goals in the league campaign and he got his 100th goal to better think of that effort. It was in the second half that we had to wait for our third goal to come, but we were comfortable and we were looking good. The money did well, and this is the game after the Sports and Lisbon match, so the fact we were able to do this well against a side after being beaten like that is good. Torres gets his third of the season, and it might be the last game goal he gets before his, his injury. Which is a shame, to say the least, because he gets injured part way through. The next game we had was against Porto in the league, and we managed to get, take the lead thanks to Chris's free kick. But they did equalise just early in the, the second half thanks to Lando's header. And I'm going to change the speed again. I think it's going to be too fast. But hey, we got a draw against Porto, and it was the game that Felipe Soares got injured and was put out for the rest of the season. So very disappointing that that has actually happened. And I'm hoping that. We don't have to worry about his injury next season when we get back full form. Here's a game that ended up being goalless. A game that I feel we should have won, really, but we got a point. Again, second draw in a row, and Chavez did well to keep us out, I feel. But anyway, the fact we got two draws means that we got more draws in the league than defeats this season, which isn't that bad at all, so I was concerned. So how do we come back from a game we should have won in the next match? Well, we win 4-0. Quite comfortably, actually. The Zaras plays across him. The Kulina probably just didn't get enough power behind that to really cause issues. But hey, we got the lead, and it's his second goal of the season, and it's, it was the start of a four-goal game, a four-goal demolition. And Chris does take corners for me, so it just shows you how many goals he's got, despite the fact he's actually been a goal, a corner kick taker as well. And Mina gets his second goal of the season without Everett to make things interesting for us. And then Bohemia starts taking corners himself and he plays this back in the middle and Borges scores to make it 3-0 and that's his third of the season, good stuff. And then just a minute later we found ourselves getting a fourth because well we're Benfica we can do whatever the hell we want. And Jennings I think it's intercepted I can't quite remember, well I don't get intercepted there. That's a really stupid mistake that happens here. Oh, that's what happened. That is embarrassing. What is... What the hell? I never saw what actually happened. I thought... I only saw it was an own goal. I never saw it was something as pathetic as that. It's like... Almost like the Aston Villa Birmingham City own goal. From the throw-in, wasn't it? Oh, well. We then went to sports in Lisbon. The team that beat us in the cup final last time. We faced off against them. And we beat them 1-0. This effort comes here. Kubas, Cataldi, out wide to Semedo. 
plays it across, doesn't get to anyone with his ball just, now a Bohemia, and he scores with the only goal of the game for his first goal of his career for us. So yeah, not a bad place to get your first ever goal, is it, for a club? Against one of the fiercest rivals we possibly have, and a game we needed to win to keep our title hopes in our hands. So then we went to Braga and we were in a very good position. The star finds Kubas, who scores? He barely scores for me these days, it's his first of the season. And that's just three minutes in. And again, we scored three goals against Braga. I think our form is kicking up. It's, it's starting to make us look really good and that's the great thing about this game. I felt we needed to do better, we should be doing better. And the fact we've only just started now to really produce the goods is a sign that we just need to work on our game. And here's the fact that they could actually we start hitting them with a the counter tackle for things I believe it was. Because Costa plays it out, plays that forward. Chris gets to that first, or doesn't get to that first. Here's Lazaro, the player out wide. And Chris somehow scores to that effort. Silver makes an absolute howl of that save, and that's why we scored. A counter attack though, of all things. That looks like a bloody counter attack. I'm chewing on the sidelines, and Chris then gets a penalty, and he scores it. To get his second of the game, he's now got 34 goals. We're going to win the title this way, aren't we? Unlike last year, but we struggled to get second place. And then we had a Champions League game against Ajax. And Ajax are great, because they were the team I was hoping to get in this group stage, in this knockout round night say that not out of disrespect but because I felt that this is a game that we could have had the best chance in and yes we did well here Bohemia finds Borges and a game we won 3-1 it was just, it was important that we did went off to a good start and Chris gave us the best start possible his very fifth goal of the season in just 14 minutes and yes we gave away an away goal but for the most part we were fine Chris's corner was okay Finds Kataudi, finds Chris, who plays it across, and Kataudi doesn't score. So we had to have a bit more of a highlight for this then. I remember now. I haven't played this in a few days, so that's why I haven't done this. But Tomato pushes out a bit badly to, okay, but he gets it back because he blocks the cross or blocks the ball forward. But Hema plays it to grab to Chris, a pull, a pull back in other words, and Chris scores. His 36th game of the, 36th goal of the season. And we've just been really good. I don't know what it is that's been making us so good this month. I mean, apart from the cup final defeat, there's not much that's gone wrong, as far as I'm concerned. Well, I say apart from the two draws that we had, but one of his supporters, so you could expect that. But still, it's been a very good month of February. And outside of the cup to biggest sports in Lisbon, we've been very good this year. And... The fact we can win the ball back comfortably is a very great thing for me to see. Finds Chris to Borges who will play but out wide to Pahima. Finds Borges again. It's 3-0 in 31 minutes. We can go forward and go ahead and take chances comfortably. Borges and Manuel strike another Bazaar's left and he's stepped up to the valley I think. But I did give away a penalty just before half time and David Lassin scored. He's 30 for the season, so yeah, a bit disappointing that's the case, but it could have been a lot worse. And I think we won 3 1 is a good sign, I think, going into the second leg, hopefully. So this is the last game of the month, and Chris's free kick was cleared out to him again, but hey, that cross was brilliant, and Borgia scores another goal, his fifth of the season now. And we look to continue our progression in the league, and a 2 1 win at Sedibal was great for that. So we did make it easy for ourselves as the scoreline suggests that we could have done a bit better here. But I'm always going to find something to complain about because it's the kind of person I am these days. I just like to find something to criticise. But this ball from Chris to Borges is great. And Chris gets an assist again. Borges gets another goal. Six goals now. I think ever since Pizarro's left, Borges has just been really good. Chris's free kick is where this counter attack comes from because the keeper gets to that comfortably. We need to get back defensively to get in our positions and 
this is embarrassing, I think, sometimes, just how easily it is to get counterattacks going. So when it does happen, it's concerning, because normally we, we're very good defensively, but the fact that Sedeville will able to score against us is not something I'm proud of. And Chris didn't do very well there, he's just on his own, so why did he head that forward? But this long ball shouldn't have allowed this to happen, and we should have done better there. Edison playing the first in the while. I don't think... Maybe it's more difficult, but it didn't look very good for us that we considered the goal there. But still, we won the match, so... While I'm complaining about the fact we didn't keep a clean sheet, I can't complain about the fact we got a win here. So this is the league table now, and we are three points clear at the top after our win in like, a Sporting Lisbon and League ensure that we got that. And, yeah, which has been really good. Four straight wins in the league now, which is really good. We haven't lost since the game against Martimo in the eighth game of the season. They're now down in fourth place. 11 points behind us, but they have got four wins in the last five matches, so who knows what's going to happen there. And between ourselves and Portal, we've got the same sort of form at the moment. They've lost one less game than us, but they've drawn too many times. I think that was our problem last year. We drew too many games. We drew nine games when we shouldn't have drawn so many at all. Portal have already drawn the same amount of games this year that they did last year, and that's concerning for them. But I'm hoping that we can at least say we're going to be the champions because we won the most games and we've got the most goals. Defensively, we need to work on that, I think, but defensively is always going to be an issue, and it's I always find that annoying. But anyway, I'm actually going to end this video here. I hope that you guys have actually enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will like and share this video, and that you will subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out a lot. And so anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.